In this video, I'm going to talk about blood pressure with long sleeves. You've heard of this. Heck, I even had a nurse take my blood pressure over my sleeve once. So does it really make a difference? I'll let you know and test it out on myself in this video and show you the results. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Let's get right to the content. First, I'm going to let you know what the studies and experts have to say. And then, I'm conducting my own blood pressure experiment, measuring my pressure three times, once on bare skin with short sleeves, a second time with a thin, long sleeve shirt, and a third time with a thicker sleeve sweatshirt. As far as what the experts say, the American Heart Association advises medical professionals to remove any clothing covering the location of the blood pressure cuff. And if a patient has long sleeves, they say the shirt sleeve should not be rolled up because this may create a tourniquet effect. In other words, it's either short sleeves or no shirt at all. And what's their advice for somebody like us at home? Well, it's the same as the medical professional, which is do not place the cuff over clothes. Now that we know what the experts recommend, what does the study show? In one study of 186 people, their blood pressure was measured three times. Once with a bare arm, a second over a long sleeve sleeve and a third one with a rolled up sleeve still covering the arm. With the cuff over a sleeve, the systolic measurement increased 3.9 and diastolic increased 5.2 when compared to a bare arm. With the doubled up sleeve, both systolic and diastolic increased even more than just a single layer sleeve. Another study researched over 2 million past blood pressure measurements to examine them for accuracy. They noted one of the errors was measuring blood pressure over clothing and that it could raise systolic blood pressure by as much as 5 to 50 points higher. So now that we know what the experts recommend and what the study showed, I decided to perform my own personal blood pressure study to compare my my results with theirs. I used three different shirt sleeves. I rested two minutes between each measurement and kept the shirts by my side so I didn't have to get up and walk around to maintain consistency for each measurement. My first measurement was wearing a short sleeve shirt with the cuff around my bare arm. The measurement felt very typical and the result was 121 over 77. The the second measurement was done with the cuff over an average thickness long sleeve shirt. This measurement took longer and the result was 136 over 77, a 15 point increase over the bare arm. The third measurement was taken over a thicker sweatshirt sleeve. This measurement took even longer than the last one and the result was 143 over 82, 7 point points higher than the second measurement and 22 points higher than the first one with the bare arm. So measuring with the cuff wrapped around a sleeve made a big difference and it increased every time the thickness of the sleeve increased. It's interesting to note it read my pulse the same for each one even though the pressure increased. This is a huge lesson. So the next time you visit a doctor or measure measure your pressure at home. Make sure you have a short sleeve shirt on so you can find out your real blood pressure reading. If you would like to see more of my personal blood pressure experiments like I did here, leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you have a particular one in mind, so far I did one with checking my blood pressure before and after drinking coffee, which you can check out right here. If you found any value in this video, click the thumbs up and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.